Hi everybody, um, here with my Unit 5 Muscular Flexibility video response. Um, for number one, it says identify one new piece of information that you learn from the textbook. Um, I was going to talk about the contraindicated exercises, such as uh, the standing toe touch and a couple other exercises, but I noticed that um, a couple other people had already talked about that, so I decided to do it on something different that I hadn't heard of. Most of the stuff in this chapter, kind of uh, stuff that I learned in my undergrad studies a long time ago, so it's kind of a refresher, but uh, one of the things that's new to us these days is uh, on page 307, Hoger and Hoger talk about uh, preventing um, text neck, which is a, it's a new phenomenon, you could say. Um, Mention that half of Americans spend an average of two to four hours hunched over their smartphones and on mobile devices, um, which causes excessive pain to the neck, shoulders, and back, and that it can lead to chronic headaches, injuries, and uh, permanent damage to their spine. Um, uh, I mentioned something about the, the head weighing, uh, our heads weigh anywhere between 10 and 12 pounds, but when they're tipped forward, and looking down at your mobile devices that head can weigh anywhere between uh, 40 and 60 pounds. Um, I looked up a couple other references, um, some websites on spinehealth.com. Stephen uh, Shoshani says it's especially concerning because young growing children could, could cause permanent damage to their cervical spines and could lead to lifelong neck pain. He also mentions that a recent study shows that 79% of our population between the ages of uh, 18 and 44 have their cell phones on them all the time uh, with only about two hours of their waking day spent without their cell phone on hand. Um, he mentions that we should hold our cell phones at eye level as much as possible. Um, same holds true for all screens, like laptops and tablets. Um, they should be positioned to uh, to the screen um, as at eye level, and you don't have to be bending over forward and looking down to view it. Um, it also mentions that we should uh, take frequent breaks from your phone and laptop throughout the day, for example, setting a timer or an alarm so that you get up and walk around every 20 to 30 minutes. Um, Lindsay Bever from the Washington Post wrote an article called Tex Neck is Becoming an Epidemic and Could Wreck Your Spine. It says that researchers say that this poor posture, sometimes called Tex Neck, can lead to early wear and tear on the spine, uh, degeneration, degeneration, and um, even surgery. And that researchers say that um, at 60 degrees our heads are about 60 pounds. Imagine, basically imagine carting around an eight year old around your neck for several hours. Um, and that smartphone users on average, um, two, they have their phones two to four hours or on their phones two to four hours per day, hunched over reading emails, sending text messages, checking social media sites. And that's about 700 to 1400 hours per year that people are at, uh, putting stress on their spines according to research and the high schoolers might be uh, the worst they could um, be spending an additional 5,000 hours in this position medical experts um, been warning people for years and that some say every inch that the head is tilted forward the pressure on the spine doubles which is pretty interesting um, as you stretch the tissue for long periods of time, it gets sore, it can get inflamed, and it can cause muscle strains, pinched nerves, herniated discs, and over time can even remove um, the next natural curve. Uh, I also found another article called uh, Six Ways to Relieve uh, Tex Neck by Nora uh, Zalavansky. So that smartphone, uh, she gave some smartphone user tips um, to avoid pain. So look down at, uh, looking down at your device, to look down at your device with your eyes. There's no need to bend your neck. So basically using, using your eyes without trying to bend over. 
Uh, also, she recommends some exercises, moving your head left to right several times. Uh, use your hands to provide resistance, pushing forward and against them, and also backwards. Um, and she mentions, um, that, oh, that there's an actual uh, text neck app for Android devices. Um, it actually gives you immediate real-time feedback, whether you're standing in a correct posture and it indi it's indicated but with a green light or red light and so actual um, optional uh, vibration and beep reminders and it actually track and it also actually tracks your slouching and standing patterns it gives you an average score and some of your doctors can actually look look back at um, so I just thought that was kind of interesting um, these days everybody's using their cell phones all the time me included and I know for a fact, I'm on this laptop all the time and hunched over at the coffee shop or wherever I might be. Some of those tables are low, so um, for number three, it says to explain your, how we'll incorporate this knowledge, personal or professional manner. It's one of the things I've thought about getting a, one of those laptop stands that I've actually seen people using them at the coffee shop that I normally go to. Because like I said, those tables are pretty low, but that elevates it and it's basically your posture, corrects your posture pretty well. I've noticed my neck and back do hurt a lot, probably because of that. Um, other ways I'd pass on the information to friends and my high school players, they're obviously on their phones all the time, even worse than me. And I think that's about it. And just being more cognizant about my posture when I am on a phone and on computer whatnot and that's about it thanks for listening hope you guys had a great thanksgiving with your families and friends thanks bye